reacting to top 10. I think that's what it's called. And I'm also losing subscribers at the same time as I'm trying to make better content, better videos. But that's fine because it's not going to bring me down because, you know, I'm <laughs> playing right now. So, um, uh, I might have a visitor maybe who will make a video. Um, let's see if, uh, we can come. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, um, I'm, we have, um, a person who's going to be reacting to a video with me. And his name is J So, guys, he's dead. And he's going to be reacting, um, to top ten. Um, video with me actually top five central my bad uh yeah that's it okay guys here we go this might be a commercial but it's not my fault is ranked as one of the top military friendly schools in the it's a commercial we oh, offer good. special benefits for you your oh. what's up everyone and welcome back to top five central today we're looking at the top 10 most shocking things found in x-rays now I know this is a super random video but to be what totally honest is that? I what is that what is that I know you guys are gonna love it Okay, so before we begin, I just want to say we are so close to reaching 2.7 million subscribers, and that's absolutely mind-blowing. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel to help us reach our goal. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Number 10. So I'm sure you've all heard the saying, hit the nail on the head, right? Well, this guy literally took that to a whole other level because he managed to hit a nail right through his skull. Apparently, he was working on a construction site one day when his nail gun backfired on him, but the craziest thing is he didn't even notice. Like, he heard the gun go off, but thought the nail missed him, so he just kept working as normal for the next 36 hours. What the heck? In fact, he only went to the hospital because he woke up sick the next day, and when he saw the x-ray, he thought the doctor was just messing with him. That's, uh, well, a crazy find, to say the least. ...of that incredible story about a man who's very lucky to be alive this morning. What you see there is the nail he accidentally shot into his brain with a nail gun, and here's what's more amazing, he didn't even realize it for 36 hours. ABC's TJ Winnick has the story. Look at this image. That's a three and a half inch nail lodged smack dab in the middle of a man's brain. That man is Dante Atulo. Just days ago, Dante was doing construction work when his automatic nail gun recoiled against his skull. Rip my head open and then heard the nail go in. I thought it went in and went past my ear, but it obviously went into my brain. Still not knowing if it actually went in, Dante walked around with a nail in his head for a day and a half. Continued on with work for a few hours, screwed. and then after that I went salting and plowing for eight hours. Only after feeling nauseous the next day did he seek medical attention. I thought he was joking. And I go, are you kidding me? And he goes, no man, I'm serious, this is in you. Number nine. Okay, when you work in the army, you obviously know there's a chance you might get hurt, but I don't think an injury like this one was ever on a soldier's radar. So basically, this guy managed to get a grenade stuck inside his face during a military accident, and not just that, he was actually still alive. Now, thankfully, he survived, but the whole operation to get it out was crazy, because it literally could have exploded during the surgery. But actually, what blows my mind is they had to do the operation outside to avoid killing other patients if it did explode, which I think makes him sound some of the bravest in history. Second. A soldier is lucky to be alive after a grenade embedded itself in his face. The incident happened in Colombia and so that's like impossible with the operation. It's super rare. Leandro he Jose Luna was is. transferred in an eight hour ambulance ride Please? to Bogota. No, he did. authorities said they could not risk moving the patient by helicopter due to the risk of the explosive detonating. The chief surgeon How dealing with the unusual case said that the How boy, my face. to minimize impact on the hospital if the grenade exploded. But he said the operation had been a success and that within a few days the soldier could reintegrate into his military unit and his family to make a full Number eight. Now normally when it comes to weird stories like this one, you want to know the whole story, but I think this time it's probably better not to think too much about it. I mean, this guy showed up to the hospital saying he had no idea what was causing his stomach pains, but next I made it clear he knew exactly what was going on. Like, not only did he have a wine bottle stuck in his intestine, but he also had a wire stuck in there from when he tried to get it out, which must have been a super awkward Ugh. thing to explain to a doctor. Yes, now, how he got it up there is the real important question, because according to a Huffington Post article, it was quote-unquote shoved up his bottom. And so, yeah, I <laughs> was today. Now, remember playing baseball as a kid, when the baseball would get caught in the tree, and then you butt. and your friends would try to get okay, the okay. baseball free by throwing a frisbee at it, and then the frisbee would get caught too? Now, imagine that scenario playing out in somebody's colon. 
you're looking oh, at the x-ray of the man from Fuzhou, China. The man So I see what happened. This is what happened. This guy was um was just playing with the bottle and then he shoved it up his butt and then he tried to get a a little string or something and then he tried to get it out but of course it got stuck in his butt too and then he grabbed a frisbee and he was about to get that stuck in his butt but guess what he he got smarter and then bam it wasn't stuck in his butt and only the bottle and the wire was that's what happened poop was in the bottle <laughs> He went to the hospital complaining about a stomach ache. According to the Daily Mail, the man told doctors he had no idea what the source of the pain might be. Well, after doctors took this x-ray, the man there confessed no the to sticking the bottle in his behind and then, <laughs> when it got stuck, trying to fish it out with the curved piece of wire. Number seven. So I think everyone has given themselves a stomach ache from eating too much at least once. But what happens when the thing you're eating tons of isn't actually food? Well, this woman showed up to a hospital complaining of a stomach ache, and when the doctors ran an x-ray, they found 78 forks and spoons in her stomach, which is enough to make anyone feel just a little bit sick. Now, the good news is she was Why is she eating forks and spoons? Eating cutlery, but I just don't know what the That's what that is. Forks and spoons. Like, I thought that was like a... Uh, Chicken. Number six. <laughs> I thought it was like a jelly. The jelly wedding proposals fish. are always stressful, but if I'm being honest, out of all the things that could go wrong, this is maybe one of the worst. For some reason, this guy thought the best way to propose was to hide the ring in his girlfriend's milkshake, but it soon turned out that was a terrible idea. Basically, her friends challenged her to a race, and she drank the milkshake as fast as she could, and she somehow managed to drink the ring along with it. Don't worry, though, they did get the ring back eventually, but the guy decided to propose with the x-ray instead, which is pretty embarrassing yet hilarious if you ask me. When it comes to proposing, most guys admit to being just a little bit nervous, but imagine how nervous Reed Harris became after hiding Here's the ring, ring in his girlfriend's milkshake. <laughs> he ate the entire thing, and at the end, the ring was nowhere to be seen. X-ray proves he was not joking, because we can... It, it's just right there. And, and Reed, you're right. It is not a little ring. I'm looking at it right here. So, so delicately handling the next phase of this, you swallowed this on Tuesday, and you finally got the ring... Can, can you just take it off? Meredith wants to hold it for a second. Can you, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't be wearing that. So, and then you Unless proposed, you watched it. Did you propose it. before like, you even got your hands on the ring? Yes, I did. Yeah. With, with the x-ray? With the x-ray in hand, yes. Yeah. Everybody told him he had to do it, so in his living room, he knelt with the x-ray. I, I don't know how you... Number five. Now this story is so ridiculous. No, no, can't imagine it happening in real life, but I guess the proof is in the pudding. Or, well, I guess the x-ray. So yeah, this guy wanted to clean his teeth after a meal, but there were no toothpicks around. So instead of just waiting until he got home or running out to buy some, he cleaned his teeth with a four-inch pair of nail scissors. Obviously, things went wrong, but it's how it happened that's the funniest part, because he accidentally swallowed them when his friend told a super funny joke. How? Like, how does this oh. stuff happen? I just don't understand it. You know what? Right now, go in the comments and tell me the weirdest thing you've ever swallowed, because I can't be the only one who hasn't swallowed 70 forks and a pair of nail scissors. Number four. So most of these injuries are actually pretty strange, but for this dude, the injury isn't the crazy part, it's the fact that he survived. Oh, like, this dude got stabbed in the head with a kitchen knife, and I don't need to tell you how deadly that is, but doctors managed to operate in time, and he was totally okay. Died from Why is most of these men? He was smart enough not to take out the knife, and because of that, he never actually touched his brain. Best of all, he was actually saving his friend from a robbery when it happened, so him living to tell the tale was actually a super cool happy ending. I'm mad. You see, something sticking out of everyone knows you can put everything in their mouths, but there are some things you wouldn't expect to show up in your kid's diaper, and one of those is a wedding ring. So basically, this mom couldn't find her wedding ring anywhere, but she knew her baby put it in his mouth sometimes, so they had him x-ray just in case. Sure enough, the ring was right there in his insides, and the good news was they just had to wait for it to come out naturally. And the not-so-good news is she probably had to give it a serious clean before she put it on again, but I don't think that's the worst part. Like, am I the only one who thinks it's a horribly bad idea to give a baby a small, easily chokeable metal object to put in its mouth? Like, what even is common sense anymore? Yes, yes, yeah, um... There's a wedding ring, just... So... This is your child, you're just letting her play with a ring, and you don't, you don't have any experience, you know? You just, you just grab a random baby, give them the metal ring, and then let them eat it right in front of your face. They don't no, choke on it, they just, they just swallow the whole thing. So what happened was, what probably happened was, the ring was somewhere, like, in drink. Drinks it, drinks it, and some, somehow the baby gets it in their mouth. So, yeah. <laughs>
Oh gosh, I paused this at the wrong time. Look at this man's face. Feared, and there was only one suspect, a 14-month-old baby. And yet, the x-ray confirmed that he swallowed his mom's ring. Parents didn't see it happen, but they had their suspicions because he had put that ring in his mouth well, before. His mom's the doctor mom. told them they had to wait for the ring to come out naturally. Yeah. And it eventually showed up in the diaper. Wife still that looks like a foot. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'd be like, buy me another ring! Okay, so if you guys don't know, I live right on the water, and I go fishing a couple times per season, but this story is enough to pull me off fishing again for life. I was watching hey, this, and right this guy, boy was using this a guy had with his friend in the lake, but for some reason, it was just pointing in the wrong all direction, in and I don't really here. need to tell you what happened next. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the spirit went all the way through his brain, but amazingly, it missed every Would vital part along the way. That was that? Even so <laughs> even oh, nice! <laughs> I mean, I took a three-hour surgery and a pair of fireman's gloves. When did you die from eating a brain? Even if you're going fishing anytime soon. Um, are they outside? That oh, stunning so story. A teenage Maybe. boy survives after being struck in the skull with oh, a three-foot wow. stainless steel spear while he was out fishing with a friend. How, though? Unbelievable extra was he just playing with the stick and, and like, the skin, like acting like it was a torch or something? Then he, so he just accidentally hit himself in the head with it? Memorial in Miami showed us what they saw. A spear fired from a gun like this one directly through 16-year-old Yasser Lopez's brain. Over there. Why are you eating that green one is me? Because you eat apple seeds and an apple tree will grow inside of you. But honestly, this is actually pretty close to that in real life. I mean, when doctors operated on this guy's lungs, they were expecting to find a tumor. But what they actually found was way weirder because there was literally a tree growing in this guy's lungs. Uh, uh, According to the report, it was much too much as long so grown, which obviously took the doctors seriously by surprise. It's hard to even know what to say about this because that should be completely impossible. But there was anyway. Doctors in Russia performing surgery for suspected cancer found something else inside a man. Listen to this story. They spotted a fir tree growing inside a human lung. The tree measuring nearly two inches was discovered when surgeons opened up a 28-year-old man to remove what they thought was a tumor. Now, no one knows how that tree grew. <laughs> and there's a video on the top 10 most shocking things found in x-rays. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever Yes, guys, leave a like down below, please. Also, if you're ever on top five yeah. or top ten ideal, feel free to use your Chimmy Handy form in the description to submit it. Oh, yeah, With subscribe that, so thank to you, watching. you know. Hope you, you see that subscribe button the next video. Well, uh, yeah. Hmm. Guys, you can't see me. Okay. So, guys, I hope you like this video. And as I told you, give it a thumbs up and make sure Jane's dead body doesn't fall into your house. And that's all. Uh, bye.